what I'm looking at right now is exciting. So I have a plan for today's video. Literally put it together here. Are you ready for an adventure? Let's go, hop in the screen. Is that like a fleet of people coming? All right, the timing of that. Very crazy, very crazy. So I planned something in this fancy book here. It's just my sketchbook. Let's draw on some wood with Posca pens now. There's a few of these that have burnt out, but I honestly, I, I can't remember which ones. So we'll just roll with it and hope for the best because <laughs> this is what we have. So this is our plan. We've got an eye. It's not centered on the wood, but you get the gist. It's gonna be more of a galaxy kind of eye, okay? All right, I'm gonna edge this in gold. I should probably sand this, but don't judge me. I'm not going to. What a strange gold. It's like silver. This looks gold too, right? Am I crazy or does this look silver? I also really need to sand the edges of this. I should probably sand this, but don't judge me. I'm not going to. I'm gonna go find sandpaper. I can't do this. What are the odds? This was literally in the first place I looked. Guys, don't follow this in the order that I'm doing it. It's really late at night and I just got inspired. And I don't always follow directions or like rules with art. I just do what I want. Hence my mistakes right here. Okay, um, I sanded this because I was stupid and um, just kind of went for it. We kind of need sanded wood, so let's just do that, okay? Let's just go back now. Okay, the edges are gold. I did touch it up with this gold leaf marker because it is by far my favorite gold leafing marker. It just works better than any other ones that I've tried. So yeah, touched it up. Now let's draw our eye. little booger is quite reflective. Well, not for long, buddy. Let's do the skin. I was kind of wondering how this would behave on wood, to be honest. And I think it's behaving really well. It's really bright. It's still soaking in. This is beautiful. First section, done. The second section, just gonna start coloring. I hope what's going on in my mind really translates to this piece of wood. Most of this is blocked out. Let's do that little gradient thing that I like to do. I hope it works okay on wood. It's getting there. We have some work to do though. Some work. Art problems. <laughs> So question of the day, what is your favorite art supply of 2020 so far? I would say mine is acrylic paint. I've been doing a lot of paintings with my husband um, for just little date nights and stuff. It's been really fun. 
in all honesty, I'm not sure about this gradient effect. <laughs> it is not turning out quite as I had hoped, but I mean, hey, we can doctor it up some, right? This might just be the icky part of our process. It's okay. We've got white Posca pens now. Let's do the whites of the eyes. Oh, would you look at that coverage? I'm all about this. Maybe do some of this pink here. What is happening with my voice? So the grain of the wood is a bit interesting. Um, it bleeds with the grain. So there's going to be a lot of sideways bleeding. Hey, art experiments. Gotta love them. This is that moment when you realize maybe gessoing your board was a good idea after all. Are you ready for the mid-video game? I have a marker behind my back, and you guys have to guess what color it is. So pause the video, guess the color, and if you get it right, well, the only thing I can give you through the comments is a gold star emoji. So I'll comment that if you get it right. All right, ready? Pause the video, go guess it. Three, two, one. Boom! Pink. Anybody who said pink gets a gold star in the comments. Unless this video like explodes and then there's like tons of comments saying pink, then I guess you guys defeat me and win. All right, should we do that moon or what? starting to bring out that galaxy feel. I don't want the moon to be too bright though. All right, this is looking like a mess right now. I'm very aware of that, <laughs> but have some faith. We'll get it looking good. It'll be okay. I decided to switch up the shading on this eyelid just to make this go with the curve. So I have this idea forming. I might change things up quite a bit on this with this part down here. So that'll come soon. This is a great spot to introduce what we're gonna do. Now the beauty of Posca pens, if you make mistakes, you can go back and change it. Let's try to do these eyelashes. This part really makes me nervous, honestly. <laughs> but we'll go for it. We'll go for it. It's all good. Thank you. 
Things went smoothly. That's good. Let's take this and do some more shaking out here. I went through a phase where I did not like this for a little bit, but after I switched this down here, it really changed things. So now I'm going to My big plan is about to be revealed with what I'm doing with this. Are you ready? Okay. So you guys want to know what actually inspired this? Because it's not anywhere like near related to this, but a cityscape. I've been looking at a lot of cityscapes from my own city and it kind of inspired this so hopefully you like it <laughs> look at my sketchbook page where i've been wiping my markers to clean them <laughs> next day and we finished this painting. I thought it would be really fun to do like the galaxy crying out of this eye. It just seemed pretty abstract, kind of weird, but as I said, some cityscapes inspired this from my own city. I don't know why, but yeah. The gold is also pretty reflective now that I added the gold leaf marker to it. I really enjoyed this. I actually really love painting on wood, so it's no surprise that Posca pens on wood are equally as fun. And this was how I planned it, this messy page, and it, we have a fun painting now. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was so fun to make. I really, really enjoyed this. Drawing on wood is like really fun. I mean, that's no surprise because I love painting on wood. So this was equally as fun, I would say. Let me know if you guys have ever done this before in the comments. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Good bye. I goodbye.